What's up, G Show Land, and welcome to another episode of the G Show Podcast. I am G1, and this is the Godzilla Block Party. Now, it seems like we're constantly getting new merchandise every week. Um, I don't really want to get into the merchandise too much, but if there's anything uh, noteworthy of talking about, I've got the crew to talk with today. But today's podcast is going to be focused more not on Godzilla, but on the other kai- kaiju movies that Toho has produced during the Showa era. Which ones do we like? Which ones are terrible? Which one is our favorite? We're going to get into all that. Before we do, let me introduce you to the panel, my co-hosts, cohorts. Coming in first, my brother from another mother when it comes to Godzilla on a G show, my right hand. G seventy three, aka Megzi, aka my brother Chase. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? Yeah, just hanging in there, hanging in there, hanging in there. Also joining us, G Show page. You know him as my arch rival nemesis. That's not true. I love him like a blood brother too. Gam Gam Z one Andrew. What's up, brother? Oh, I'm excited for today's topic. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I bought my Batman tickets today for Thursday, 310. I told my job I got to leave work at 250. The theater's right down the block. I got to go get... I bought cherry syrup, and I got to pour it in the Pepsi because they have no cherry soda there at that theater. So I got to get there early to get it going. Also joining us... Blast from me. Blast from my ass. Also joining us, he's back. My special favorite guest star, I got to be honest. Yo, the other night, Sunday night, I'll be, be real. This, yo, I'm so happy to have you back on. Sunday night, I could not fall asleep. I put the podcast on my phone. I got my phone on the uh, charger right next to my head where my pillow lays. And for fucking two hours, I just listened to us just go. It was so much fun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shin, Shin Rob Jir is back with us today, man. Welcome back, brother. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me again. It's a real pleasure. Absolutely. And it's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance, Rob. Same, same. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Chase, you've never been on a podcast? This is the Rob? first time I've been on a podcast. No. Not even the original mm-hmm. one? The one we did like two years ago? No. 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 So you left no, me two years ago. Two years ago, it was just you, me, and Rob. So, Chase, you left me to the fucking wolves whenever, remember, remember that time period whenever we had a new, a new guest, we had to ask their thoughts on Shin Godzilla? And then we have a guy named Shin Rob Jared jump on the motherfucking pocket, and you left me to the wolves. I was well, the... now you like Shin Godzilla, so I'm the only one out of the loop. There you go. I'm in that <laughs> corner now. I'm 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 the outcast. I'm across the pond. I'll tell you, man. That, <laughs> re-listening to that podcast, I I'm laying in my bed. It's about a quarter to one in the morning, right? And I start hearing shit upstairs, and I'm like, yo. Is somebody breaking into my back patio upstairs? So I got myself a little bat right next to my bed, right? I grab that shit. I'm like, I'm I'm waiting. I'm still listening to the podcast. Some funny shit is being said. I'm trying not to laugh because I'm like, yo, is somebody breaking into my house? (laughs) Then I start hearing the fucking, like, the chair moving. I got the chair right next to the door upstairs. There's no alarm on that door. I'm like, yo, somebody's breaking into my house at a quarter to one in the morning. I jump, fucking lights on, run up, say, who the, what the fuck? It's my daughter eating potato chips. Quarter to one in the morning. I'm like, yo, what are you, what are you doing? It's a fucking school night. Go to bed. At least eat some Oreos. Crying out loud. Give me a heart attack. You're scaring the shit out of me. If I was robbing me, I'm trying to laugh at these old videos, and you're disturbing my peace. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, I, it, it was, it was insane, man. But no, I definitely enjoyed that podcast. I also enjoyed the podcast, man. You did last week, Chase, which brings us to today's uh, episode. But um. Before we do, I just, I I don't know. Is there anything in the realm of merchandise that is noteworthy to talk about? Because you guys know it all. Yes? Um, Did y'all talk about the, uh, uh, what what, what were those plushes called, uh, Rob, again? The the, the new GVK ones? Oh, the U2's plushies. Wait, what? Uh, Yeah, uh, that's the plushies I mentioned last week. When we did the podcast, Ray, the Mecha Godzilla Kong and Godzilla one. You haven't seen them? Unless there's more. I mean, no, I don't. Oh, no, I have I not. Those two. I didn't know if y'all talked about it last week or not. I just noticed something, too, by the way. My yeah, good friend Shin Rob here 
Yo, Shin Rob, you look like one of my favorite wrestlers. I'm just going to give you that right now. You look like Adam Cole, baby. I get that a lot. <laughs> I, I really do. I get that a lot and some other guy that's not a wrestler, but I get it a lot. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if you don't like I apologize for Jay, man. No, no, not at all. Not that just means all. that just means that he is a good looking guy. And I get the privilege and pleasure of looking at him for the next hour, hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, these, are the, these are the plush toys if you want to give him a gander. Yeah, well, Godzilla looks like a little crocodile, a happy crocodile. Kong looks like... <laughs> Kong, looks, Kong like, looks like he's corking out a hot shit that he's been working on for 12 years. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at Mecha Godzilla absolutely. looking like a, a... What were they called? The little giggy pet, digi pet, back in the fucking late 90s, mid 90s? <laughs> Digimon? No, not Digimon. They were these little... <laughs> They were little apes. You mean Neopets? Probably. I thought they were Digipets. I don't know. Something like that. Wow. Okay, legendary. Plushies. They're I mean, like beanie babies. They're good for the they're good for the little kids. They're good for the children's. The uh the 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 toddlers throw it in a crib with them. I did that once. My Godzilla, I gave it to my daughter. I, I bought one for her when she was a baby. But every time like she rolled on it, it roared, so she would like freak out and I'm like god damn it <laughs> you're supposed to like this shit come on be like that be like that uh, but you know that was a uh, that was 18 years ago <laughs> no, that's not bad I mean those are cool I guess um, for the avid collective I'm pretty sure everybody wants to let me ask are these gonna get scalped fellas I mean did the U2's actual figures get scalped I don't know I haven't checked to be completely honest Godzilla might, since he's a BAM exclusive, but you can buy him off the YouTube site. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a YouTube get scalped. I don't think people really care for them too much. Yeah, Honestly. yeah. They, like, they, they, they're, they like, an even nature version of, like, pop vinyls. Mm. Mm. But don't get me wrong. They look cool. Yeah. I got the Heat Ray Boy in not too I mean, long ago. Unlike, he's pretty good. Unlike the pop vinyls, they actually did the uh, did a diorama uh, figure of both Kong and Godzilla on top of the uh, the aircraft carrier. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. That's pretty cool. They, you know, yesterday at work, I went on Big Bad Toy Store because um, I wanted to see the status of the merchandise, right? Like, where, when... Are those Destroy All Monster Mezcos coming? But I also went on there to look at the uh, Godzilla vs. Smog Monster set. And they were cheap. It was like $64. So I was like, oh, that's not bad. But I was looking at them and I was like, do I pull the trigger? Do I pull the trigger? Do I pull the trigger? I said, uh, let me not just yet. Let me just hold off right now. I mean, I dug it. I really did. I, I love the way Hidora looks. But I don't know. There was something, uh, something about Godzilla's neck where the the articulation is, the spines. I don't know. I'm not a collector. I don't look into these things like that. But because I've been freaking talking with Jews, especially Gam Gams, now I see more of these little things that like ah, I don't know if I like that or. Whereas before I'm like, man, this thing looks cool. It'll be perfect on my shelf. So yeah, I, I'm not trying to get caught up in that game. You're getting a little more critical. Our, our critic uh, side of, <laughs> of, of toy collecting is rubbing off on you. I can't do Wait it, man. Wait for the sets to get announced, man. Mm. Now, it's going to happen. Those, those, that, you know, as per that as per that last podcast, that's going to go without saying. I'm going to have to buy those. I'm just going to have to. You know they're going to do Destroyo with all the different forms and Burning Godzilla and Junior. And you know they're gonna wrap it up in a beautiful box, sixty-four bucks, oh. and it's gonna be um, super X three rolling with them. A uh, 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 a freeze amazer. I'm with all of that. That's the one thing I like about the Mescos, the accessories. I like them. I dig There's it. Two old versions of Rodan. Two ro- You think so? Fire so? Rodan and regular Rodan. <laughs> I guess oh, yeah. get the colors in. Yeah. Uh, but and don't do good, don't do good by it too because I got the Ultraman set from them and it's it's of great quality so I don't have a single doubt in my mind that they're gonna knock Godzilla out of the park. So let me ask you, being that you brought up the Ultraman, I remember Mezco being specifically 
like a 12 inch figure uh, superhero with the cloth like Batman, Spider-Man, Superman from way back when and I don't know mm. when they turned it around and started making like hard plastic figures but is the Ultraman in line more with the old superheroes or more in line with what they've been doing recently? More in line with what they've been doing recently although their giant Ultraman has the cloth and like all the light up features and all the crazy accessories and everything. I'm dressed like Ultraman yeah, today. See that? I got my mm-hmm. my cloth on. Schwa! I am winning. Hey, Schwatch! I am getting ready for Ano Shin Ultraman. You have no idea. I'm very excited. Is that the robe you wore when you dressed as Thana? What? No, no. This is my Ultraman game. It comes with a couple of cool accessories. Hang on, hang on. It comes with a couple of. It comes with this really, it's a sleepwear. It comes with this cool, it comes with this cool face warmer. It comes with a cool face warmer. And this nightcap. It's awesome, bro. I use this every night. It's the best thing in the world. I wake up feeling like a million bucks. I don't know where my wife found this. I don't know where my wife found this. I had to take my daughter to take her ACTs today. So we were gone all day and I come home and there's this Santa Claus outfit just sitting on my chair. And I'm like, what the hell? Might as well put it on and look like you having to fuck it. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, anyhow, to the topic at hand, if there really ain't nothing else to talk about, honestly, to the topic at hand, because I think this is a interesting one. It's something that I'm shocked that we've never actually gone over. Now, last week, me and Chase... We talked a bit um, about these movies. We didn't go into detail, but we were using them as an example for the upcoming Toho in the works kaiju movie that Mm. some believe it's Godzilla. They're just not saying it, while others believe, no, it's an original movie. Um, And that got us to thinking about all the other movies that Toho has done without Godzilla. And they work. And they work. So that's what this is all about. Like, especially from the Showa era. Mm. I know Rodan and Mothra eventually gets folded into the universe. But the other ones kind of don't. They kind of live in their own... Their own... Well, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. Because like, of Destroy uh, All Monsters, I get it. But they really don't have any bearing the way Rodan or Mothra did. When it comes yeah, to Godzilla true. continuity, you know? And, uh... So that's what I want to focus on. I mean, because by all means, you know, if we're going to add Rodan, it's it's an automatic, my favorite one, although it probably ain't. But we'll start with you, Chase, since you were with me last week. What's some of your, what's what's your favorite and then least favorite non-Godzilla Toho show of movies? Gosh, I mean... <laughs> I was partial to War of the Gargantua. Well, I don't know. Was War of the Gargantua's Toho? Yep. Yes. yes. Is that Toho? Yes. I haven't is. seen that movie in so long, so I don't know. So War of the Gargantua is, like, is my... semi-sequel to Frankenstein Conquers the World. All right. All right. Um, I mean, I loved War of the Gargantua's. Um, that was that was my favorite. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if Voyage into Space uh, was. Uh, a Toho film, uh, but they're, they're, that's the one where it's like um, the boy and his giant robot. Uh, you said it was like Johnny Sacco and his robot, but I don't know if that we're thinking of the same thing, Ray. But um, Voyage into Space, I, it, 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 I, remember, I mean, these are all movies that my dad showed me when I was younger, and so um, that it, it, that one might be. Toho, it might not. I mean, I'm just assuming it, it might be, but um, uh, but other than that, definitely like Rodan and um, and Mothra. But I don't really know if I have like a least favorite. I mean, maybe my least favorite, I mean, would be Voyage into Space, and then it's like or the Gargantuas, Rodan, Mothra, and then Voyage into Space. But other than that, I mean, I I haven't seen Varan. Um. But um, for the most part, that's it. I mean, and I, 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 I never saw Frankenstein uh, 
versus uh, is it Paragon or Frankenstein uh, conquers the world? Paragon. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen that one either, but um, for the most part, those are the most that I that I've seen. Aside from you know, I mean, the Gamera movies. No. Those aren't Toho. So. Oh, no, those are not Toho. I think some of them might have been distributed by Toho, but definitely not Toho. I'm not sure, but I think. Uh, the Hate Day trilogy was distributed by it Toho. Was, right? Okay. Shin Rob, same question. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I have the least favorite, but I think one of my major favorites that's not Godzilla related is Matango, the giant mushroom people. That's a Matango is a good one. Trippy movie. Yeah. And. Uh, it's where the creepy laughter from Balton uh, from Ultraman came from. It was originally from the tango and uh, just a really weird, almost surrealist movie. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Frankenstein conquers the world. I don't know if I've ever seen the Mysterians or anything like that, but I've seen like other Toho made like films like uh, the bloodthirsty trilogy, which was Japan's attempt at bringing Dracula over here and it fell flat on its face three times in because it just wasn't sticking, but they're great, again, really weird movies. And um, off the top of my head, I mean, there's Quiet In, but I think they only distributed that. Um, the Lady Snowblood movies. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I really, I, I haven't seen a Toho movie from the Showa era that I dislike. I... Yep, Gam Gam. I think we and you, we, we, we've kind of okay. spoken on that. <laughs> so, my favorite uh, non Godzilla Toho movie is going to have to be the original Mothra. I, I love it to death. Uh, I, I love the, the colorful cast of characters. I love the, uh, the, the comedian guy. Uh, the villain, his, he is delightfully cheesy. <laughs> Uh, and the the Mothra uh, puppeteer work is fucking on point. I love it. When it comes to least favorite, I think that would be uh, either... It, it's known by a few names, uh, so let, let me name off a couple. The X from Outer Space, or, or Yogg, it's also known as. Uh, it's the one with uh, Ganymes, Gizora, and Kamebus. That's uh, and I just I just feel like that movie's just really boring. Yeah, that's Yog Monster <laughs> from honest. Space. Yeah, the Yog from Monster Monster from Space. Yeah, because the X from Outer Space is pretty boring. The X from Outer Space is Gulala. <laughs> oh, okay. my non-favorite Toho movies right there. I love that monster. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, Yog. I I I just find that to be pretty boring. Um, if we're talking about the show era, if we're talking about any other era. Uh, probably my least favorite non-Godzilla Toho movie would be Rebirth of Mothra 2, because fuck that movie. Really? You don't like Dagora? <laughs> nah, but it's... it's it, literally, you have a Furby pissing on kids to, to heal them. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> who, who made that movie? The creators of uh, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah 91? Damn it! <laughs> No, that would be Rebirth of Monster 3. <laughs> oh, oh, you dirt brother. That's a good movie. <laughs> Man, so, I, first off, I'm kind of shocked that you, Shin Rob, has, have never seen uh, Frank Stein Conquers the World. That... Oh, I love the movie as well. Oof, that's... I actually I actually have that on a, a service known as Show a Video uh, on Blu-ray. <laughs> Blu-ray, eh? I would love to get oh, my yes. hands on a Blu-ray version of that. Um, Criterion win. Um, don't have right. it offhand, but right. I do the like to the Blu-ray for War of the Gargantuas. And, and HBO Max has a very high-def, high-grade War of the Gargantuas and Rodan on HBO Max. So, Oh, yeah, because uh, the, 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 I think it's the Criterion. It, it is. It oh, is. collection that has the rights to distribute it right now? Yep, it is. It starts You're not with the doing Janice. Anything with it. Uh, that's what so before I go, let me throw that question out there and start with you, Shin. Um is it because the 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 Godzilla Showa collection didn't really take off the way they thought it would take off? I really have no idea. I haven't heard anything like in terms of like the behind the scenes things with Criterion. 
I just assume it's Toho saying, oh, no, you can't do that yet. Because um, it just feels from like my end, I actually, I actually peruse the Criterion channel uh, a Reddit page. Uh, and I see people buying the Showa set, like, every other day. Really? So it, so, so it can't be that. I mean, because yeah. you, would, you would think, look, I'm not looking for the Godzilla Criterion Collection uh, style. Like, I, I don't need all of the stuff that they put into that set, even though it's mm-hmm. not a lot. It's a bunch of pretty pages, some good art, some good art. I don't need a giant book-sized cover for it either. I'll package it. Just, just give me a regular book. Listen, you know who does it right? Uh, the people who made the Gamera set. Arrow Video. Arrow, Arrow Video. Video gets it the right. The goats. Oh, oh my God! I, the goats. <laughs> I always listen. I, I, I'm always harassing Arrow Video. I'm like, dear Arrow, could you please bring me Bio Zombie? Wild Zero, please, because they do that niche market shit. And what they oh, did yeah. with the Gamera stuff, I I wasn't going to buy that Gamera set. I said, you know what? It's not that expensive. Let me get it. I don't care. I just need it. Let me get it. When I got that damn thing, I was like, oh, my God. Blew the Criterion Collection out the way. Oh, Blew no. It. There is no contest none, none whatsoever none the the transfers were dope i was just like this shit is perfect even if i don't care about all these movies but um yeah, yeah I, I, I all the time all the time i'm like arrow please could you imagine if they got their hands on the non godzilla movies i, I have never I, seen i'd be in debt <laughs> <I'd> be in <laughs> debt even more than i probably already am same is so I've never seen like Mysterians, um, I've never seen Space Amoeba, although Space Amoeba and probably the Mysterians both were on Amazon at one point because that's where I saw Matango, and I was like, mm. I I caught that like late night, I had family my my wife's family was down, so I slept upstairs on an air mattress and I was like I need something to watch because this is uncomfortable, and I'm just flicking through Amazon oh I have never seen this let's watch it. And I was enjoying the shit out of it until I was snoring, but that was good. <laughs> like, it's the atmosphere of those movies. Yeah. It's the yeah, atmosphere those, of those movies. Those it, Showa era films just, uh, I mean, Godzilla regardless, they just have a weird aura about them that just totally sucks you in. I mean, even if it's a romance or a drama, you just feel like a different thing with those. And when it comes to something as nutty and weird as Matango, it just, like, double slaps you extra hard. Because mushroom people? Mushroom people, <laughs> right. That's And I, I kind of agree with what uh, Gang Gang was saying about, like, y'all monster from space. It is very... It, it, for whatever reason, it's, it is rather boring. It feels like Godzilla should have popped up in that movie. Mm. It feels like an unofficial sequel, and it probably came out before. I'm not sure what, um, what year it came out, but it feels like it belongs right there with Ever a horror of the deep. It feels like it just it just it feels like it coexists in that world the way Frankenstein conquers the world and War of the Gargantuas coexist. Now that those are my two favorite non Godzilla show show movies. Um, it's not Rodan as much as I absolutely love Rodan, but it is, and it's hard to pick out of the two. It's literally the the same. It's it's it's. Two sides of the same coin. You just throw it in the end. Whichever side it lands on is, that's the one for the day. Uh, Frankenstein Conquers the World, I think, is because I have like this weird passion for Frankenstein. I don't know why. Mm. I don't know if it was because of the Monster Squad when I was a kid. I don't know. I don't know. Great movie. Right? But I have this weird affinity for Frankenstein. Like I, I, I've read the novels. I, I, I tried to read as much comic material whenever Frankenstein pops up I try to get in it and I mean like not like let's say the DC version of Frankenstein like Frankenstein Agent of Shade or <clears throat> Frank Castlestein or whatever when they killed the Punisher and turned him into Frankenstein not like that I'm talking about <laughs> oh yeah, it was true it happened a couple of years back it was called Frankencastle I'm not making this up um, it's terrifying it sure was <laughs> he was Frankenstein's monster but I'm not going to go into it 
Oh, he was running around with Werewolf by Night. It was nuts. It was nuts. It was nuts. But again, I can't go into that. Uh, but Frankenstein was just one of those Don't things. Don't give the multiverse any more ideas. What was that? <laughs> Don't give the multiverse any more ideas. No, yeah. I'm no. already overwhelmed in Doctor Strange 2 of all the weird quirks and undercover trannies they're going through. Yeah, just just wait for the movie. That's all I'm saying. But So Frankenstein's <laughs> been one of those things. So when Toho got its hands on it and they were making it a giant monster, I was like, there's no way this works. Zero. Zero way. But unfortunately for you two who haven't seen it, this is spoiler territory here, but this movie's been around mm-hmm. since the 60s, so I'm just saying. My fault. But it was World War II, and they were transporting Frankenstein's heart, the monster's heart, from Germany, and then it got caught in an atomic blast. Or so, oh, yeah, they, they transferred it from Germany to Japan. I think it was at Hiroshima, and then the bomb dropped, and then all of a sudden they started seeing this vagabond kid that turned out to be Frankenstein regrowing from the heart. And then it just, awesome. it was dope. And I was like, how did they do that? They made it work. And I was just like, what the hell? And then all of a sudden, there's this disturbance in this oil field, oil rig, whatever, in the water. Next thing you know, chickens are being eaten, cattle are being mutilated. What is this? Could it be? Could it be the monster? No. It's our first introduction to Baragon glowing horn and everything it was awesome and i'm saying i'm like this makes all like this is so good it was so good now mind you i've seen this now way after i seen war of the gargantuas and i had no idea at this point that this was supposed to be an unofficial sequel i mean war of the gargantuas was an unofficial sequel to this movie but once you watch them together and you understand that that's what they were going oh uh, the little things you could just start putting together and piecing together and saying, well, of course, this is what happened here because this is how this movie opened. Like, yeah, yeah. Especially if you watch the Japanese version with, rather than the uh, the American dub. With the real ending, which is just mm-hmm. heart- heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. Actually, I think both endings are heartbreaking. Uh, the American dub... Him and Baragon are fighting on the mountainside, right? They're in the rolling hills. Baragon has flame breath, obviously, right? And Baragon sets the terrain on fire. And during the fight, they cause an earthquake. And Frankenstein kills Baragon, holds him over his head, screaming triumphantly as they both sink down into the earth's crevice and fire going all on top of him. Fantastic ending. Damn. It was nuts. But then the Japanese ending... Frankenstein does all that, but survives. And then this is where it gets weird because it does kind of feel out of nowhere, but still works. The giant octopus shows up and drags Frankenstein into a watery grave. It is on both versions. I'm just saying, I'm like, now don't get me wrong. That does feel kind of out of place, the, the way that movie is put together. And then just to slap that on at the end, I think the American version really kind of works better for a finale, whereas this one just comes out of nowhere. It's kind of like, uh, no, I, I, I can't even, I don't know. It, I've never seen anything like that before in a movie. It was like, all right, here's the definitive ending. And then, oh, wait, there's more. And this guy just pops up and he's, it's like some random dude coming to kill the main character at the end of the movie. And you're just like, wait, what? This dude just, mm-hmm. Like, could you imagine, could you imagine if, um, well, I, oh, God, the guy John McClane killed his brother in Die Hard, fought him towards the end near the roof, thought he killed him by hanging him on a thing. After John McClane does everything, drops Hans Gruber out the window, goes outside, then all of a sudden the dude comes out and kills John McClane. That was the type of event that it felt like, wait, wait, what? Damn. Just that, or, or just some random thug wakes up and was like, oh yeah, boom, you're dead. It was something like that, but so good. It's so good. I love that movie. I really oh, do. Yeah. And Nick and, Adams and is in it. Was fantastic. Yeah, and Nick yeah. Adams is in it, which is great. You know? Yeah, can't, can't well, at least Adams. we know at least we know Kong gets revenge for Frankenstein. <laughs> well, but that's where Even though I'm pretty sure that's years later. <laughs> well, and that's where uh 
that's where the beauty of this the, the quasi sequel comes into play because at the beginning of War of the Gargantuas, Gyra is fighting a giant octopus. And Gyra is supposed to be basically Frankenstein's final form. So it's much trivia. It I'm telling you that that you, you talk about a series I wish they would have aped and continued. Oh, it's that one. Now it makes sense why they have the square foreheads. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, because Frankenstein loses a hand in a, in Frankenstein Conquers the World, and apparently they're like, oh, yeah, that was uh, that was the brown gargantua. Like, they made it into that. Yeah. It's just so uh, much fun. It's, like, it, it was, it, it's in the Japanese version of War of the Gargantuas where they make even more direct references to Frankenstein. Yep. Like, uh, Sanda and Gaira are actually, uh, like, fully formed versions of uh, Frankenstein's limb. Yep. In the Japanese version. It's just fantastic stuff. It's fantastic stuff. And War of the Gargantua is just... I mean, we've all seen it. That... There's some great miniature work there. There's some great monster action there. Because both kaiju were humanoids, you can actually get more emoting it was wrestling basically we saw a giant kaiju mm. wrestling and it was great it was great i loved it i'm like this right here this is what works and it, it's it, it doubly works because they decided to have san and gyra be like smaller than the average kaiju so that the miniatures are bigger and more detailed than they've, they've ever been plus it has one of the best songs in all of uh Toho film history. And the words get stuck in my throat. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh. oh, I love it so much. Listen, you can save the earth all you want, but the words get stuck in my throat. Oh my god. And then not only that, but then if I don't think Gyra eats her, but he, he eats somebody, and then he calls her a oh. <laughs> She gets stuck in his throat. It's the best thing in the world. It's so I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh man, I watch it. So Honda directed that one, right? That was Ishiro Honda who did that one, right? Yeah, and Ishiro Frankenstein. Honda directed um, War of the Gargantuas while I think either Ebira, Horror of the Deep, or Son of Godzilla was being made. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. And I think that was the, War of the Gargantuas was the last Toho movie that Nick Adams was a part of because he was yeah. in that movie. Oh, wait, I, thought, I swear to God, I thought Nick Adams was in Frankenstein Conquers the World. No, it was another guy. It, it was another white yeah, it was guy. The other, yeah. Another white guy with blonde hair. Actually, it was brown. He kind of looked like David Hasselhoff. You're kind of shorter. Yeah. He had the David Hasselhoff. Yeah, I remember that, too. He was, like, the main character. The guy trying to kill all the monsters or something like that. He or was, he was trying to save them or yeah, something. I don't remember. He was, he was uh, the scientist. <laughs> But um, there's other, Frankenstein. there's other movies in that whole in, in that whole uh, non Godzilla universe, like Atragon, for instance, or one of my personal favorites. Honestly, it's probably third or fourth, and I know a lot of people don't like it, but Varon, like the original Japanese cut of Varon, I love it. I love it. I've never seen Varon the Unbelievable, so I don't know the butcher job they've done to that movie, but the original it's Japanese. Pretty butchered. Yeah. Ugh. Pretty butcher. I really, I, I, I don't know. I, the whole, it was kind of like Godzilla in a sense, where they worship this creature, the idol Baradigi. I like, I'll never, I love that movie. I used to put that shit on all the time. And then, I always thought it was a cool concept creature too. I always thought it was. You have to get a movie monster series figure soon. Don't you? Might be. Yeah. Don't you yeah, say might be. that. Oh, with the Bandai's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Gorosaurus? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, getting, he's going head to head. This is the first time this has happened. Um, oh, but Bandai oh, put out not one, not two, but three polls. Um, the, uh, the second poll, which was, which was what we thought was going to be the last round, uh, put Varan up against Super Mega Godzilla and Kaiser Ghidorah. Kaiser Ghidorah lost horribly. But Varan and Mechagodzilla were so neck and neck that they decided to put out a third poll, a final poll, and only Japanese citizens can vote on this one. 
Yeah, because there's, there's, I don't know if that's like 100% confirmed, but there's a lot of discussion saying that there was some voter fraud. <laughs> oh, no! Because <laughs> Super Mecha Godzilla would be at like 600 votes. And then you'd wake up in the morning, you'd be at 1,200, and everybody would be like, Yeah. Oh? Huh? Yeah. What the fuck is it? Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's weird. And just the fact that they did a third poll because it was so close, as they said, even though it was a 600 voting difference, I think, uh, I think they know that people are installing that app and doing some funky shit with it. Maybe. Listen, I don't know, but I'm I'm open for Varan. Okay, I Absolutely. am too. I, I want one. I want one. You can even make him look like the 1980 whatever Godzilla game for Nintendo. I want a Varan. That was my first exposure yeah, he to needs him. one. Yeah, he, he does. Needs one. He's never gotten a Bandai vinyl figure. He's gotten HG. He's gotten everything but, it feels like. Has he gotten an X Plus? Yeah, he's got an X Plus. Yeah, so he's literally had everything but M and Bandai, so... It gotta happen. It, it, as, lo- as long as it's affordable, because <laughs> I seen some of them X plus prices on Big Bad Toy Store the other day. I was like, oh, 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 oh whoa, whoa, these dudes be buying this shit. What? <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. You gotta hook me up yeah. with your pill. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you look up this one guy, his name is uh, Rich Esso. Fresh Violent Reviews. He reviews nothing but X plus. The Fresh King. And is, but is it just... And he's got a collection. Like, he makes my collection look like nothing collection. And not only that, like, the reason why he can afford this stuff is because he's a seller himself. Bless his soul. There's a guy, uh, Gem Mint Collectibles, that I watch. He does a lot of comic book <laughs> stuff, but he gets the statues, too. And he did a... Uh, he, he got a King Ghidorah from King of the Monsters. This thing was a massive beauty gorgeous detail this thing was unbelievable and he's doing an unboxing video and i'm like yo this is crazy but then he starts showing his knowledge of the franchise the lineage and there's none and he's calling it different names and i mean like he must have called Ghidorah three different versions of Ghidorah. Maybe it was because of the three different heads. And he was like, I'm going to be funny here. And I'm going to give them, you know, how like JL calls it Ghidra all the time still, you know. Uh, but you could tell like he knew a lot about the manufacturer and, and, and the stuff that they put out. He knew all about the detail, where to look for seams. But as far as the figure in question, very little. So probably nothing about it other than what he just Yikes. like looked up on Wikipedia or some shit. And I was kind of like, Noob. yeah, and I was, I, I was, I was, I was disappointed because here's a dude that I do follow. I watch him. He gets these cool statues of just like superhero shit and movie shit. And he does omnibus collections. And like Gam Gam said, he'll read something and be like, this was good, but I can, I can hawk this and he'll sell it to get more shit. When he got to that, I was like, ah. Oh. Uh, it breaking my heart. Oh, oh, but I digress. Um, Rodan, speaking of King of the Monsters. Now that that would, if it wasn't for War of the Gargantuas or Frankenstein Conquers World, that probably would have been my number one uh, non Godzilla monster movie because that has everything and in, and it has a horror element with the Mega Gulon. Mega Nulon in the beginning. It's scary. The sound is freaky. It is. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's it's one of the creepiest yeah. sounds in Toho's library. I love it. Oh, it is. It's terrifying. I have nightmares just about the MP3 file. <laughs> and when that Ugh. sucker when that sucker comes down the hill at night into the village, and it's going. And you oh, see it through the door. Dude, no. It's so no, 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 no. It's so good. It's so good. It's like. Man. Get the fuck away from me, big bug. <clears throat> yeah. Crack him right in the skull. Oh, fuck that shit. I love it. Even yeah. like, um, because if I'm not mistaken... You gotta get a big old can of Raid. Yeah, and a nice lighter. 
<laughs> get, an, get an, uh, electric fly swatter <laughs> or a lamp, a bug lamp outside the sides of a Godzilla. <laughs> I, I was happy that they brought that back, um, even though it took, you know, generations. But we got a Mega Moon back, turned it into Mega Gyrus. I thought that was a cool concept. I would have loved to have seen that play out in, like, OG Rodan. But even, like, the actor, if I'm not mistaken, the main actor of that movie, isn't he not the uh, guy from 54 Godzilla who was on one of the ships Godzilla destroyed and floated up on the island? He was the brother. I swear to God, I think that's him. But anyhow... I mean, uh, I wouldn't doubt it until he uses his yeah. all the time. His, um... His reaction to seeing Rodan for the first time when we couldn't see Rodan, we're just looking at his face, seeing Rodan hatching or whatever it was, it's priceless, man. It's priceless. That was some good acting. And again, a lot of people don't look for the little nuances in these performances, especially like 54. But they're there. Everybody just thinks of the giant monster stuff. No, man. There's some solid, solid acting going on in these movies. I get it that gets campy later on. I think I uh, the back what you were saying, I think the actor you're thinking of is Koichi Ueda. I could I you. think he's the guy you're referring to who was in nineteen fifty four. He's usually he's he's been in tons of yeah. movies though, but I'm, so I'm looking at that. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Like I said, I I wouldn't know his uh the name in the movie. Cause that you know Honestly, like like Gam Gam pointed out, you don't really remember a lot of their names. You know the main But ones, you definitely remember their faces. But yeah, the faces never change. Like every time I see um, uh, Dr. Serizawa pop up in a, in a Godzilla show movie, I'm like, you put a little pounds on there, buddy. What's going on? Oh, you're getting old. I can see. You know what's funny? True story. True story. I was... December 27th, 28th, 2021 years old. Oh, I'm gonna just, I get my card revoked here. When I realized that Dr. Mafoni was also Dr. Shirazawa. Dude, I, I had an epiphany. I jumped out my couch. Oh, shit. Yes. I've seen Terra Beck and Godzilla a million times. <laughs> I never fucking saw it up until, you know what it was? When they're doing the, flash the flashback the sequence. The flashback sequence, and I go, holy shit, that's been in my face the entire time. I love that flashback <laughs> sequence. I love the music to it. I love him getting real angry. He's pointing, just in still images, he's pointing at the board of, like, Titanosaurus. He's like, fuck, motherfuckers, I'm not going crazy. Never noticed it until this. I said, you got to be fucking kidding me. So, yeah, I got to, I, I take myself down a bit. I got to get knocked off my little pedestal. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. He never showed up in any of the Hesai movies, right? <laughs> Just... No, he died before the Hesai series started. Damn. Wow, that's a shame. Had you seen him pop up in 84? Oh, that would have been so good. Oh. Man. Yeah, I think the I think one of the only re- uh, returning actors that was in, like, The Return of Godzilla was uh, actually, coming right back to this, the, the main character from the original Mothra. He was he was part of that whole uh, meeting us uh, get together with with all the government officials uh, demonstrating with the cork bottle. Yes, he was. Uh, with with uh, Mount Mahara. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I, and I do know that um, the main female lead in Godzilla 1984-85 was also Erica in Godzilla vs. Biolanti. Which shocked me because I was like, "Really? Oh shit! Okay, didn't see it, but yeah. Anyhow, show movies. Any other ones that just like have standout moments, memorable um, scenes. I know not very many people like to talk about this one, um, but I think uh, as kind of sort of forgettable as that movie is, uh, Dogura had. Amazing special effects, like the how they made uh, the, the 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 dogura like move and stuff in the in the sky. It's it's wonderful. I I love the uh, 
I love the sequences with the actual monster in that one. Um, but as for the movie itself, I, I need to, I, I barely remember it. Same, uh, same here. Like, I, I really want to watch that one because I agree. Some of the sequences I've seen, like, on YouTube, that's amazing work they did there. And then the, uh, I think it destroys a bridge. It's coming down the tentacle wraps around. I just was like, man, look at what they would do. And another then. really, really good one. Another really, really good one that I'm surprised we haven't talked about yet um, is King Kong Escapes. King Kong oh, Escapes yeah. is actually one of my favorite King Kong movies. <laughs> Tin Can Monkey. <laughs> Duh. Damn. You know why? Because every time I think of that movie, I think of Rankin Bass. Like, I really think of, oh, like... Oh, the King Kong show. Yeah. Oh, uh, but you're right. You're absolutely right. That's... That, damn. It's, it's, it's got one of my favorite performances by Akira Takarada in that movie. Who did he play? Um, he played uh, one of the two male leads. Uh, he was he was the Japanese male lead, and there was kind of a sort of a dynamic between him, the uh, the, the the American male lead, and the uh, the girl who also Kong like. So it was kind of like a instead of a love triangle, it was a love squint. <laughs> you know what it was? That Kong suit is the by far the absolute worst Kong suit I've ever seen. Oh yeah, that that, that Kong suit was. Oh, Especially like during those close-up scenes of his face when he's looking at the uh, the little hypnotizing thing. Oh, <laughs> God, it's awful. You could see that was such a botch job, man. Oh, yeah. Rather than rather than being shit faced like he was in King Kong versus Godzilla, the, the, the King Kong escapes Kong looked perpetually stoned out of his gourd, looking like he took <laughs> like ten dabs in a row. But to, to that movie's credit, it did give us Mechanic Kong. And that's still oh, one of my Kong. favorite I'm, I'm, looking I'm, I'm, things ever. Like, that's and such it, cool it, like, it takes the classic, it takes the classic Kong climbing up a tower and getting shot down and flips it on his head to where that's where the that's where the final battle's taking place. And instead of Kong falling down, it's Mechanic Kong falling down. And that's a great destruction sequence, too, because when he hits the ground, he just kind of, like, <laughs> kind of, like, just scatters everywhere. Oh, God. Yeah, as a kid, I used to love when that movie came on. I used to, They actually shrunk Kong down in that movie, too, because at the end, when he's chasing the car to Dr. Wu or Dr. Who, whatever you want to call him, to the submarine, I mean, the scale of the car and the scale of Kong, it's, it's close. I, I kind of dug that. Yeah, I, th I think in King Kong Escapes, they made him more comparable to the size he was in the original 1933 movie rather than, like, King Kong versus Godzilla. That movie gave us Gorosaurus. <laughs> that did? <laughs> but King did? Kong. And let's not forget, the only other creature on Skull Island in the fantastic 1976 remake, The Giant Snake. Yes. <laughs> Wait, is 1976 a part of the show era? I'm just saying. I know it was not. Never mind. Toho non Godzilla movies. I mean, it's 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 not Toho, but like Toho kind of kind of ripped it off poster wise with uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon's poster where they're on the twin towers, just like the 76 King Kong. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. No. 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 Nope. Megalon came first. No, Megalon came first in Japan, but not in America. Oh, in America, so what you're saying is, I gotcha. To come to <laughs> gotcha. Dude, I own that movie, man. I bought that when I was in the second grade. I still have that tape. I still have that tape. It's probably disintegrated, but it's it's in the Bible box. The Holy Grail box. Nice. Shit, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what? Jesus Christ, King Kong Escapes, it deserves to be up there just because of what it's given us in terms of quality kaiju, except Kong. But Mechanic Kong is a, a fantastic precursor to Mechagodzilla. Gorosaurus helped kick ass and destroy all monsters. It's like he had a major role. And let's not forget, they, he even, they even teased Gorosaurus for Final Wars and turned it into, you know... Shingo version one. 
Sorry. That one slipped. <laughs> I wasn't even drinking. See? It's Tuesday. I gotta... I'm not drinking. But sometimes it just... Mm. I'm sorry. Only bummed about that because had he actually been in Final Wars, we probably would have gotten some new Gorosaurus merch. Oh. But we didn't. And some cool... Did oh, you, yeah. The design, I'll never forget... Uh, cruising before like Facebook and all that stuff. Like, you had the, the the little groups and shit. Cruising the website, oh, yeah, and the like forums. Rodan's roof and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember seeing they when they put out the the roster list and like Toho's official designs for them. Gorosaurus looked badass. Gorosaurus looked mm-hmm. cool as shit. I was like, oh man, uh, I was so jacked for that movie. You have no idea. I still am. I digress. This I've never be- seen it, so I'm gonna Google it right now. Oh, okay. You've never seen that Gorosaurus? I've never seen... No. Yeah, this was before they they, they said, Fool you! <laughs> Gave us Zilla. Uh, Google Images don't let me down. Oh, man. Um, I when it comes to other Showa movies that were made by Toho, I'm trying to think here. Uh, the Mysterians was okay, I suppose. It gave us Mogera. And I've never uh, seen that movie. Yeah, I, 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 I've a, never seen The Mysterians either, so... It's one of those hard-to-come-by movies. Now, I say I own Atragon. But Atragon, kind of like Yogg the Monster from Space. It was good for, like, one, one viewing. And then I'm like, maybe nostalgia will get the better of me, but I also need a, v, a VCR. Because I only have the VHS mm-hmm. tapes. Um, unless I find a good spot where I can get a good Blu-ray. I don't want a DVD no more. I'm being bougie when it comes to that. I got you. <laughs> with some good with some good subs? Mm-hmm. Talk to me after the podcast, brother. Oh, 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 let me just say, let me just say, when it comes to like Frankenstein Conquers the World and whatnot... These people that I keep on naming, but I will no longer name them in order to not get them in trouble. They not only have the Japanese version, they not only have the American version, they even have the German version, which apparently is different. Oh, oh my God. You know what I love about these old movies, too? You said German. You brought up the German uh, version. The international posters. Oh, yes. They international did. posters for, for Godzilla movies are great. Like... Hey, Germany, for example, literally in Germany, all the Godzilla kaiju were made by Dr. Frankenstein in some way, shape, or form. That's awesome. Can I show you guys a poster I found today while doing research for a review I'm doing? Yep. Go ahead. I swear on all that is holy, I thought this was fake, but apparently... It's not. It was included in an article detailing the history of 1984. Look at this masterpiece and try and oh, count the things. Wait, that are whoa, wrong with whoa, that. whoa, whoa! Is that somebody in the. <laughs> Is that a stock from Carnosaur, too? There's a stock from Carnosaur. The chick's got a PNG file of lipstick on her face. There's a guy with no head dripping blood. Godzilla's eating a screenshot from a different movie. I have no idea what's going on here. Hey, they, they like photoshopped him. They <laughs> like cut out. They got the samurai. Oh that, my that, god, this is beautiful. Look at the satellite. I, I want a shirt. I want a poster of it. I need it, but what in the actual fuck? I can't believe they got Carnosaur too. Oh, yeah. That's that movie came well. That's wild. wild. They got- the guy with the rifle looks like a character piece from, like, a GTA loading screen. <laughs> yeah. It totally does, though. It's, it's, it's like Rucka Hauer and Blind Justice. Like, what's going on here? That is insane. Oh, man. I kind of want to make that, like, the profile pick of this episode. But I know we can't because that's not what we're talking about. But maybe description in the link yeah. below, right? Like. I guess that's what you do. Well, yeah, yeah, we can like, get a link going on for like a Google image search or whatever for that image, and we can put that in the description. Why not? Yeah, that's I need, insane. I need to know the story behind this. I, I need to. I because. Need... Oh, okay. Yeah, my wife is fun. dropping all the stuff upstairs. I want to know. Yeah, wh- where does this poster come from? This is definitely not Italy. 
Italy. Definitely not. This is definitely not Italy. Oh man, this is a this is a hardcore. I mean, that guy has no head. No wait, he does. Oh, no, he doesn't. It's Godzilla. Godzilla's now, its head. No. I don't know where it comes from because I haven't watched that video yet, but I know of a video where a guy is talking about that very poster. Really? I just haven't watched that video yet. <laughs> I need the backstory, Drew. I need it because I, I can't find it. It, like it. It, it. it looks like it would be something from sci-fi and GodzillaMovies.com. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Oh, man, that is... <laughs> I just, I just, I need to know because what, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I, I can't believe the, the, uh, the guy being eaten by Godzilla is, that is just, uh, <laughs> oh my God, I know what this is. This looks like, uh, Hidekiano's, uh, first go round of Godzilla. This is the Evangelion version of Godzilla where anything can happen. And when the orange is goes that around. Is that a no, that's a copy of the actual poster. Like it's real. Like this isn't oh, like a photo God. job. This is this is a real poster from somewhere. Uh, 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 yo. And I, I, I need to find I found it. It's the Pakistan poster of Godzilla oh. nineteen eighty four. Oh my uh, god. When when did Carnosaur two oh, come out? Like ninety five? Uh, no, e- e- either that it's either Carnosaur or the movie, uh, d- that the old uh, 70s movie, or the, not 70s, uh, ah, shit. It's either the 60s, it's probably the 60s of the, uh, the movie Dinosaurs, where he's fighting the crane at the end, but the thing is, they stole that, and Carnosaur stole that, so it could be Carnosaur. I can kind of see I don't know, I can't tell if it's a crane. It's Carnosaur. He fights. Um, isn't it like? Um, is it? A, it was still a crane and Carnosaur, right? He fights. He it's fights, a what? He fights Ripley. It's a forklift. That 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 the dinosaur fights is a forklift. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a crane. So that's from <laughs> dinosaurs. Wait. You know that? See, the, <laughs> we're going off on a tangent, but I don't care because this post is making me. Carnosaur for the crane. What about um uh, one of my favorite non. Toho Kaiju movies, it's, uh, I think it's severely underrated. The Crater Lake Monster. No, I'm not, sorry, Andrew, you're right. It, it, that is a forklift, so that is Carnosaur. Yeah, it's about to be Carnosaur, man. So this yeah, poster was made uh, in, like, 95, 96, because Carnosaur 2, Carnosaur 1 came out, like, right when Jurassic Park 1 came out. Okay, but we don't know when... Godzilla 1985 released in Pakistan. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But that's crazy considering, like, you know what it was? Jurassic Park was coming out. They were like, "Get us all the dinosaurs! Get us all the dinosaurs!" <laughs> I, I, I think they should re, they should remake Carnosaur into a new high quality film. No, don't do that. Because bring that franchise back and make it. Make it fun. We'll get Carnosaur. I mean, if you want movie. that same energy, you can always go to Roger Corman's Magnum Opus, which is Sharktopus. Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Dino Croc. Of, of, of which, speaking, there are a ton of <laughs> some insanely obscure movies on Amazon Prime right now. One in particular being something about. Some kind of fucking seafood chef force that they fight a giant. Great fucking movie. You saw- I own it on a Blu-ray. It is balls to the walls, weird as fuck. I giant hear- mecha chef and everything. Oh, it's, oh god, my god, it is god, beautiful. It. It's on Amazon. It's on I my wish list. Chef I from South Park. <laughs> Dude. That only would have made it better. Honestly, Isaac Hayes coming back from the dead, being a giant mecha chef, battling kaiju. Hell yeah. I mean, why not? Children. Children. I mean, they did it. They did it in season one. Right? This giant kaiju. Sushi. Oh, what are you fights? It's like Mecha Streisand or some shit. Mecha Streisand. Uh, the guy from The Cure was Mothra. Uh, Sydney Poitier was Gamera. This was great. Yeah. 
This yeah. was great. Robert Smith was Mothra, yeah. I loved it. <laughs> and that was actually Robert Smith, yeah. too. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how they got Robert Smith in on season one of South Park, but they did. He was probably a part of the original Christmas card. He was probably, probably a part of the original and became probably. a fan. Like, all right, who are these dudes? Who the hell are these dudes? But I'm just waiting for them to this get Brian Bushano. This is the best album ever. <laughs> which, always makes, which always makes me question whether or not their little disclaimer, oh, all, all celebrity voices are impersonated poorly. Are they all impersonated? I don't think so. Well, the, the, I mean, George Clooney was Stan's <laughs> gay dog. Yeah, so. yeah. That's what I was... That's... <laughs> And Jerry Seinfeld was a killer turkey. Killer turkey turkey number two or something like that. Oh, you got to love it. You got to love it. Again, tangent. Thank, thank you, Turkish guy, Pakistani Godzilla poster from 1980, from 1997. You are the absolute... I, I need a copy of that. You are the I absolute really highlight. Oh, wait, that's not a satellite. That's another helicopter. That's an attack chopper. Okay. I thought it was the satellites where the, uh, you know, the Russians and the Americans shoot shoot down each other's missiles. Uh, I, I would be afraid to watch that movie in a way, because you don't know how sc- how scriptedly edited it is to where they probably try and re- like, they have the Godzilla scenes, but then they put Pakistani like stock footage of actors in it throughout. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing a movie just like imagine? that that's just a, a total butch job, like a butchered job? Like the edits are all wrong and stuff? I mean... Yeah. I am surprised. I am surprised. Uh, if you if you know about uh, like Turkish knockoffs, like Turkish Spider Man, Turkish Superman, and stuff like that, uh, I'm surprised they never made a Turkish Godzilla. Huh. Korea did. Oh yeah. Hey, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all leave that young Gary out your mouth. You understand? That 2001. I like Young Gary. All oh, right, that 2001 movie is a special yeah, place. Yeah, Reptilian was cool. Oh, no, no, I was talking about the 1960s. That movie. shit ain't called Reptilian. It's called Young Gary. Oh, I, oh, I love Reptilian. That movie was fun. I saw that on Sci-Fi. <laughs> 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 after, 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 after. I was in a, I was in a, a, a shop down downtown in downtown Brooklyn. Um, and they used to have all the anime and shit there, all the, the, you know, old school kung fu flicks. And then they had kaiju flicks, but I had them already. So one day I, I go in there and I'm looking for some Dragon Ball Z tapes. And I see young Gary playing on, on, the, on the TV and I go, yo, my man, what the fuck is that? He goes, yo, we just got this in. It's from Korea. What is it? And he was like, it's called young Gary. Let me get a copy. I read that shit now. So I'm asking my wife, like, yo, is it subtitle? He was like, actually, no. It's like all in English. Like, the entire cast is English. I'm like, what the fuck? So that was like the first time I was introduced to uh, uh, um, another country making a movie but using, like, all English actors, you know? Instead of using their native uh, tongue. director's other movie, uh, D-War. Exactly. And it was the same guy, wasn't it? It was the exact same guy, yeah. Yeah, D, yeah. I mean, is it like Dragon Wars? Yeah, Dragon Wars. He that was his uh, precursor to Dragon Wars. See, Dragon Wars got a theatrical release. That I still don't understand that. I really <laughs> yeah. don't. I don't fucking get that. Some of the actors in that movie, I'm just like, why are you here? You have better. You have a career. You have a. You have a future ahead of you. Why are you in this movie? <laughs> I remember buying, like, the special edition of that movie and it coming with the necklace, which I thought was pretty cool. The dragon j- the dragon necklace or the, the, the jade necklace. I thought that was pretty cool. There's only one no, dragon. To me, to me, I thought that movie was cool. <laughs> I thought that was like a Transformers movie. What? Oh, one movie oh, that no. I regret. Oh, the Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Oh, one movie that I... I regret not getting or n- not seeing yet is actually uh, Pulp Gasari. That's a good I, I really want to watch myself. I own that one too. I'm telling you, man. Once <laughs> similar to one day. Once I once I found the tra- the tape game, the tape trades and all that shit. I was on a mission. I was on a mission wherever I could find a spot. 
that said anything like Little Tokyo Shop Boutique, whatever, I'm in. I was in Boston. This is where I bought 1954, the original Japanese version. I was in Boston um, visiting my cousin when he was in college. And we went to you know Boston Square, wherever it's called. And I, there was a shop. And in that shop, I got 1954 Godzilla and I got Gamera 2, Revenge of Legion. I mean, no, I'm like, Advent of Legion. And that's when I sat down and said to myself, fuck me. Because <laughs> that movie destroyed everything I knew about kaiju movies. I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. Houston, Toho, we have a problem. That's what that was. When I seen that, I was like, Toho, we got a motherfucking problem. You can't let camera come in this motherfucker and take your throne like that. What is wrong? I digress, but that's still one of the greatest monster movies ever made. Ever made. Ever made. We gotta do it. Oh, we gotta do a whole one whole podcast just oh, on that you're, camera. We're gonna get to a camera podcast, and I'm going to never shut up. I'm gonna let you talk to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have the uh <laughs> I'm gonna have the little sound bar every time you say something that I totally agree with, and just press the button. Ding! Like a check mark. That's it. <laughs> You're gonna introduce the show. You're gonna have like a mute set to him. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> what was that? You, you came in. I'll even go off about. I'll even go off about the show of camera movies. Don't even try me. All right, real quick. Let's do that real quick. We deviated so much. We might as well just go there. The show of movies. Personally, I think. There's two great ones, there's one okay one, and then the rest is like, ah. Some fun monster fights, but outside of that, I think only the first three movies are the best ones. And then it just oh, takes yeah. a no uh, style. When it comes to Gamera, you got the original Gamera, which is fairly generic when it comes to monster movies, but Absolutely. it's serviceable. Um, then you got yes. Gamera vs. Pyrogon, which is the best movie in, in the entire show, uh, Gamera series. Absolutely. Um, Gauss, one, wonderful. It's, it's, it's reintroducing the kid element, but it's still fairly entertaining. I like the, uh, the two bumbling moron characters, uh, who were in the construction crew. Yes. They're hilarious. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, when it comes to things like, uh, virus, virus suck. Virus sucked. I, I, yeah. I do not like Virus. Um, I do like Guerron because, you know, camera and space, that's that's fun. Space Gauss, Space Gauss, um, definitely. Yeah, Space Gauss and all that. That that, that, that. that one was fun. I like that one. Um, and then you got... Oh, what was it after Guerron? Jiger. Jiger. Uh, yeah, it was Jiger. I do Jiger. actually really like Jiger. I, I really like Jiger. Jiger. That's um, the bit where he's underwater and he's trying to sneak up on him, right? Um, no, no, no. Or is that it's, Zegra? That's Zegra. 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 Yeah, Zegra, Zegra. Zegra is the giant. Okay. Uh, G- Zegra is the giant space shark. Um, Jiger that is the not, one that, that is, has like him. the microwave horn beam and implanted an egg in. Uh, in oh, that's where they go inside him and they kill the baby. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, real yeah, quick. That was wild too. Give me, give me a translucent Gamera figure from that movie. I'll buy it. I'd buy it too. They probably made one. I, I did knowing Bandai back in the day. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, up. he's googling. <laughs> I gotta take. This I thing. know it exists too. I, there you go. I found one. Oh, did it, it exists. Really? There it is. There it is. Right, right, right. Oh, that's Heisei Gamera. Uh. Yeah, they were doing that with Gamera 3 a lot. They were making some translucent ones, and I was like, no. Oh. But do the... Um, kind of- when it comes to Zegra, I actually don't like Zegra as much as I like uh, some of the other ones. Uh, I just feel like it's kind of... It, 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 the Gamera formula that by Zegra has kind of run its course, and it's just too formulaic for, for my taste when it comes... Like, I, I like Zegra's design. It's just... When it comes to the to the human stuff, it's just, uh, and the less the less I have to say about Gamera Super Monster, the better. What? Which movie? I, I actually don't that. mind Super Monster that much. <gasps> oh, you found one! Yes, I did. Oh my God! This is exactly what I'm talking about. I totally buy this thing. 
Ah, oh, they had it on sale for six bucks and it sold out. Motherfucker. Jesus. That shit is cool. I'll keep an eye out for you, right? Don't worry. Yeah, this one is cool. I like that. I can't. That's the probably the best part of that movie is this toy. Ugh. You know what it was? I'll <laughs> never forget when I saw like the synapses for it. It was like Gamera gets impregnated by a mom. What? Go back. What did it say? Impregnated? Fuck my head up. I, the, tur- the, the toidle gets fucked? What? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, come on, man. What are we doing here? What are we doing? But yeah, no, dude. Super Monster. Holy shit. Holy oh. Shit. They even ripped off an anime in that movie. They did. They did. <laughs> like, like, literally, the opening shot of Super Monster is verbatim Star Wars. It is. <laughs> Wholeheartedly. <laughs> verbatim <love> <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> I love it. The whole little superhero sideline to it, too. It's oh just like, oh, God. fantastic. Why? But why not? But I will give him props for actually killing Gamera off. That, that was ballsy. That was ballsy. This is Gamera's greatest hits, and the, the, the children love them, and it's the 80s now. Yeah, let's blow them up. <laughs> what? And, you know, while we're on, on the subject of my favorite turtle boy, Gamera the Brave is underrated, underrated and underappreciated. True. Facts. It is underrated and underappreciated, and it needs a second look by everybody. I agree. You can watch it for free on I YouTube. Need... I can watch it for free with my camera collection. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. That's true. But for those who don't own it, it's on YouTube. That's where I saw it before yeah. I got the camera collection. See, I wasn't crazy about that movie for a while. I thought, buns, bunion rings, bro, donion rings. I ain't got. I don't want nothing to do with it. Then I sat down, I popped it into my PlayStation 3, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, whatever wasn't clicking with me then is clicking with me now. I, I, I like this uh, coming-of-age story of a boy with a flying turtle. And even though there's a few things about that movie that still kind of irk me, like, why'd you give Gamera the friggin' stock roar? Why? Calm, like, yeah. what's going on with Zetus? Like, can we get a little bit more of that? There's, there's a lot of... It was building up for more, and that was our last Gamera movie. Don't call a thing Toto. I cannot, for the life of me, stand <laughs> that they call that thing Toto. Now, Toto means two okay, things for me. Okay, okay. Dorothy's dog and a woman's you mentioned vagina. YouTube. You mentioned okay. YouTube, right, Ray? Yes, sir. There is an edit on YouTube of Gamera the Brave that replaces the stock roars with Gamera's actual roars. Oh, you know it's I'm the a true cut. That. I'm the sucker for that. I am a total sucker for shit like that, man. You, you know what I mean? It, if, if King of the Monsters would just have Rodan's real raw, that movie goes up exponentially in the hierarchy of Godzilla movies. But good God Almighty, you telling me for real? They oh shit! That's yeah, I cool, can give man. you. I can give you a link like right now. That's the yeah. one thing that no, because I really don't want to watch that movie just to hate Gamera Raw. If I want to hate Gamera Raw, I will watch any other Gamera movie. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that one. I do like the designs of the monsters. I love the intro to that movie. I thought it was fantastic. Um, yeah, that Gamera was no, that nightmare. That was that was gr- Grandpa Gamera. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's another movie. That had a, I, I, that was another movie. That I think it's called, I think it's called uh, Advent Gamera yeah. or something like that. Um, and I actually have two figures of of that version of Gamera. I have him before he he blows up and while he's blowing up when he's glowing red. <laughs> I have, I have my I have movie monster series with, version. With, with it's gonna help, happen. With the help of both this guy right here, Rob, and uh, a, a friend of both of ours, I have a, a full collection of of at least one figure for every Gamera uh, monster. I actually have a fucking uh, no, it's not Jeeger. I have a Gauss. No, I think I do have Jeeger. Now that I think about it, remember when? It, it wasn't Trend Masters, or was it Trend Masters that came out with the camera line? It was Trend Masters. It was Trend Masters. It was Trend Masters, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I've got I've got Gauss and I've got Zebra. I mean, J- Jiger. I don't know how I got those. I have them. And that's what I was like, again. I, I do want to get my hands on the Trend Masters camera stuff. Like, I eventually. That, that's a holy commit for me. They're getting, they're getting so expensive now, though. Like, 
Back it's in the day, you could get a lot of them for like $60, $70. Now it's like, forget about it. Treadmaster stuff is just right through the freaking ceiling. That must mean that must mean something is coming down that line. The ultimate slide must be a reissue of Trendmasters. Somebody might know something. Dog, is that, that that's that inside trading? That's that inside yeah. trading. Hey, that's guess what? They do it. This is coming. And I wouldn't out. put it past Super Seven, honestly. I really wouldn't. Yeah, it's like by all means. Once y'all get to the Heisei era, do all that Trendmasters stuff. Yo, you got mm. my money. You got $170 easy right here, right in this household. $170 easy. I would. You gotta have that Godzilla no. with the with the robotic stuff. The, oh, oh, the mega mutations. The oh, the power of Godzilla. Oh, yeah. the power, the power of, not the mega mutations. I remember seeing those commercials and be like, "What the fuck are they doing to my Godzilla?" <laughs> I, <laughs> now when I say, "I'm like, oh, oh, yes. man, I wish." Yes, I tail wish. swiping action. It's like you're just twisting the toy guy. Give it a rest. <laughs> The kid turned into oh, man. Like, a, like the commercial where the kid like uses the toy to kill his sister. Yeah, <laughs> oh, his sister. No, no, it was the babysitter. It was the babysitter. The babysitter. Not... The babysitter. Yeah. Oh my god, I love it. With two more thermonuclear breaths. Thermonuclear breaths. <laughs> oh my god. Can we get toy commercials, please? Super Seven, do something. Somebody give us something. Everything's advertised. Playmates tried. <laughs> we actually had some halfway decent commercials for the Playmates GVK line. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They weren't on TV, though. The Mattel ones weren't that bad. The what? The classic line from Mattel. Those commercials aren't that bad. When they, those ones kind of fun. Yeah, I do remember the Jurassic But you don't have that personality anymore. It sounds, you know, it's like... The people narrating them just don't care about toys. Uh, it'll give that extra oomph. That's because, see, back in the days, they were aiming towards the kids. Today, the kids don't play with toys. They play with their phones. So yeah, It's true. Yeah, so, I it's mean, true. we can narrate well, I it. Play, as, play with toys less than my phone. <laughs> well, I, it's flip-flop, turn upside down. It's just these kids nowadays, yeah, they... They're not down with that shit. But we all, but we all. But and that's uh, all that matters. We'll all hang out next week with our buckets of dinosaur toys and Godzilla toys, and we'll just have fun. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do like a Dungeons and Dragons. We'll set up the Lego buildings. We'll, say, we'll do like a Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> role playing with Godzilla in our figures. That'd be crazy. Oh. Hell yeah. I'm on Discord. But uh, hey, listen, fellas, that I think this is a perfect place to wrap. Um, uh, thank y'all for being here, Chase. Thank you, brother. Of course. Shin Rob, bro, thank you again for being on. Anytime. Always happy to come on, my guy. Always. Gam Gam, my brother. We shall have that guy. We shall have that Gamera tr- Trilogy podcast. Two epic hours. Oh, yes. That's, that's going to be a podcast for the ages. I, I can't be there for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't wait. But that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode of the Godzilla Block Party. I am G1, and we are out of here. Peace.